Hello and welcome to News Click. I'm Anusha Paul. Here at News Click, we try to bring you the daily news that is important but not so trending with our daily roundup. This is not the first time Prime Minister Narendra Modi is stopping the release of government data on jobs created in the country before the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. On March 14th, it was reported that a survey by the Labour Bureau on the number of jobs created under Micro Units Development and Refines Agency will not be made public for another two months. The reason cited was that the expert committee had found anomalies in the methodology used by the Bureau in arriving at the findings. Therefore, the findings of the survey will be made of public only after the polls. The Mudra program, which was launched in April 2015, provides loans at low rates for people to set up a small business and to generate jobs through the self-employment. The loans are even to microfinance institutions and other non-banking financial institutions, which in turn lend to the micro, small and medium enterprises. It was reported in February that the Bharatiya Janda Party-led National Democratic Alliance had scrapped the report on unemployment by the National Sample Survey Office and instead planned to use the Labour Bureau's Mudra survey on jobs. However, the expert committee in a meeting on March 8 asked the Labour Bureau to reconcile some errors. The Bureau has sought two more months to do so. The Union Labour Minister is yet to approve the committee's decision. The NSSO survey that was withheld by the Modi government was the first employment survey to be conducted after the demonetization. The survey report that was leaked to the business standard showed that the unemployment had reached a 45-year high at 6.1% in 2017 to 2018 after the employment data was withheld. The other job survey withheld from the release by the Narendra Modi government was the 6th Annual Employment Unemployment Survey by the Labour Bureau. According to the survey, India's unemployment rate in 2016 to 2017 was the highest in four years at 3.9%. Last August, the Department of Financial Services had stated that around 90% of the loans fell in the lowest category of under Rs 50,000 and amount too measly for any serious, even if small, entrepreneurial venture. Since the program was started in 2015-16, a grand total of 9.9 crore loans have been sanctioned and whopping 4.68 lakh crore has been disbursed. These seems to be impressive figures, but this means that the average loan per person is mirage of Rs 47,249. For a detailed report on this, you can check our website. Coming back to mudra loans, during the survey period, the beneficiaries stood at 10.35 crore which have now increased to 15.56 crore. Given the findings of the two suppressed government reports as well as other recent job surveys, it is anybody's guess that the mudra survey result would have told a similar story of job losses and joblessness, a risk that, a risk that the Modi government must have been apprehensive to take before the elections, especially when the government had come to power with the promises of 2 crore jobs every year. In what seems to be another attack on education by the ruling government, the JNU administration has increased the entrance examination fee by 300%. According to a leaked prospectus on March 14, the fee has been increased from Rs 1200 for the general category for admission in three subjects to Rs 3600 for three subjects for general, Rs 2700 for OBC and Rs 1800 for SCST and others. They have also closed down lateral entry to the BA program, reduced deprivation points for MPhil as well as PhD and delinked in the integrated MPhil and PhD program. The fee hike is not just limited to Indian nationals. Foreign students too are facing the brunt of the administration's arbitrary decision. In a Facebook post, JNU General Secretary Ajaz Hamad said that the Modi government's policy to promote the foreign exchange and open Indian education for foreign students turns out to be a jumla as fees for foreign students is being increased at exponent level. The JNU entrance examination will be held from May 27 to May 30th and the registration process is set to start from March 15th. While many students are claiming that the prospectus was uploaded on the JNU website yesterday and later taken down. JNU Public Relations Officer Poonam Kudusia said that no prospectus was uploaded and NTA will upload it by March 15th. Earlier, infringing a democratic decision-making process, JNU VC Jagdish Kumar had unilaterally decided the admission policy which now reflects a 300 fee hike for Indian nationals and a 400 fee hike for foreign students. 
Apart from the massive fee hike, additional GST is also applicable on the amount. A document on GST on education services states that education is not defined in the CGST Act. As per the SC's decision in the Lok Shikshana Trust, education is a process of training, developing knowledge, skill and the character of students. The implementation of these decisions taken undemocratically by the Jagdish Kumar-led JNU administration is now another step towards the privatization of higher education in the country, putting an end to the freedom and inclusivity of education system and making education for the economically weaker section unapproachable. The JNU SU has condemned the administration's decision and had called for a university strike yesterday, warning the VC to hold back the anti-student prospectors. They have also said that they will continue the fight until the fee hike is withdrawn. ये टीवी अब आपको कोई सूचना नहीं देगा ये कहना है वरिष्ठ पत्रकार और प्रसिद्ध टीवी एंकर रविश कुमार का उनका कहना है कि मीडिया ने लोगों की आवाज बनना ऑफिशियली छोड़ दिया है और आप एक इन्फॉर्मेशन लेस वोटर है ये सब बातें उन्होंने न्यूज क्लिक के हिंदी न्यूज एडिटर मुकुल सरल से खास बातचीत में कही है आइए सुनते हैं इस इंटरव्यू का एक छोटा सा विशेष अंश गहरी सूचना मिलना या एक ही तरह की सूचनाएं मिलना ये और कितना बड़ा खतरा है ये ये बहुत बड़ा खतरा है अब नहीं संभव है क्योंकि न्यूज चैनल में रिपोर्टर अब नहीं है अब एंकर हैं हम ही से लोग कहता है बंगाल पे बोलिए हम ही से लोग बोलता है चीन पे बोलिए है ना अखबार पढ़ने का टाइम नहीं रहता आधे एंकर तो दो पेपर पढ़ के नहीं आते जी जी वो तो चार लोग हाँ वो पांच लोग पर्ची दे गूगल से निकाल के दे दिया उसी में डिबेट करते हैं तो डिबेट करने में कोई मेहनत नहीं है मैं जो करता हूँ उसमें बहुत मेहनत है मेरी हालत खराब हो जाती है वो मतलब ढाई तीन हजार शब्द टाइप करने पड़ते हैं उसमें भी रिसर्च करके तो जो मैं रिसर्च करता हूँ उसमें भी प्राथमिक सूचनाएं नहीं होती नई सूचनाएं नहीं होती हैं तो बहुत सारी योजनाएं हैं जैसे उज्ज्वला है तो कोई रिपोर्टर घूम रहा है कि वो सही है कि गलत है कोई रिपोर्टर घूम रहा है कि एल क्या है क्या जो इतनी सरकार दावा करती है उस एल में किस एक कंपनी को फायदा हुआ या नहीं हुआ क्या उस व्यापार के जरिए कोई एक ऐसी कंपनी बन गई जो पीछे से किसी और की मदद कर रही है हमको मालूम नहीं है तो हम बहुत सारी चीज़ें नहीं जानते हैं लोगों में ये धारणा है कि आजकल तो कई न्यूज़ चैनल हो गए हैं ये बात सही है लेकिन लोगों को ये बताना पड़ेगा कि कई सौ न्यूज़ चैनल होने के बाद भी सूचना अब एक ही प्रकार की है तो अगर इतनी बड़े बड़ी दुनिया में अगर एक दो प्रकार की सूचना आपके पास हो उतनी ही हो तो मैं उसको कहता हूँ कि आप सूचना विहीन अवस्था में हैं आप एक इन्फॉर्मेशन वोटर हैं आपको कुछ पता नहीं है सिवाय इसके या आप नरेंद्र मोदी को पसंद करते हैं या आप राहुल गांधी को पसंद करते हैं दैट्स ऑल वी हैव फॉर यू इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ डेली राउंड अप सो डोंट बी एन इन्फॉर्मेशन लेस वोटर टू कीप योर सेल्फ अपडेटेड इन दिस कमिंग इलेक्शन डू लॉग ऑन टू आर वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट न्यूज क्लिक डॉट इन ऑल्सो यू कैन फॉलो अस ऑन फेसबुक ट्विटर एंड यूट्यूब